Welcome to the bee barn. I am currently processing honey. I'm uncapping the frames. Pretty rainy day. Got out there before the rain this morning and was able to grab a bunch of these out of the hives. To be honest, the year started off really, really slow. Still is kind of a lot less honey than I was hoping for. Um, due to all the, the mild weather with no rain and humidity and stuff, the plants kind of didn't, didn't take off and there wasn't a lot of flowers and that reduces the nectar flow which in turn unfortunately reduces the honey flow. The last couple weeks have been, kind of, have been pretty good, um, thankfully, so it's letting us salvage hopefully this season. It was kind of a building year for us on the farm. We went from nine hives last year to 20 hives this year. Um, so a little bit of a learning curve with this many hives. Any, any beekeeper knows you never have enough boxes or frames, so I've been spinning and throwing them back into the hives as quickly as I can. <clears throat> Try to stay ahead of it. But all in all, the, the, the hives are doing pretty good. Really strong colonies coming into September here, so we'll see. We'll see how this winter goes. Hopefully, not too bad of a winter, and we can get a bunch of these hives to make it. I want to do a video on this spinner as well. It's a, a new spinner. I'm finally not doing it by hand. And anyone that's got more than five hives, I would say, seriously look into getting an electric spinner. It is one of the best investments I've ever made on bee equipment. Saves a lot of time, makes the process a lot cleaner and easier. You don't risk really blowing out frames by hand. I know if they're doing a ton of frames, you kind of get a little lazy and try to speed it up and go as fast as you can and you end up wrecking equipment. But this is our process. I know a lot of people probably do it differently. There's a lot of different ways of doing it. This has been the uh, easiest for us and um, just how we like to do it. It's kind of relaxing for me to be honest with you. I did about 70 pounds of honey yesterday. If I could get 50 or 60 today, that'll be good. A lot of the, um, there are still honey in the hives. I didn't take all of it today. We're not taking all of it either, we're leaving stuff for the bees. We're only taking really what they don't need. Number one goal for us is to get them to make it. So the really cool thing about this Max and Spinner is I can do six medium frames all at once, and the way it's readily done, um, I don't have to take the frames out and put them the opposite direction like I used to on my old hand crank. I could only, my old hand crank, I could only do four frames at a time, medium-wise, and then um, after I spun it one way, I would have to take the four frames out, spin them in the spinner, and then put them back in so that I could get the honey off of both sides on either side of the frame. Where this one, the way they're radially centered, I do not need to do that. I can just put the six frames in, set it, and walk away for a little bit, come back and 
15 minutes or so and they're bone dry. Gets both sides done at once. It's really cool. I can do three deeps as well uh, at a time and um, technically I could do up to nine mediums but I don't want to overdo it. A lot of a lot of weight to be spinning around. The really cool thing about this storage unit that we've got that I'm calling the V barn is it's got a wood floor, so I was able to screw the spinner right to the floor. That's the other problem I used to have with the hand crank is it would just bounce around if it wasn't everything level wise. The weight was off, it would just go crazy on me and skip all over the place. I really hope you guys are enjoying our videos. We're trying to keep doing more videos on the farm and we know we got a lot of people that are interested in what we do and, and how it's done and we're trying to throw some helpful tips in, in as we do it as well. So if you guys can think of anything you wanna wanna see on the farm or if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to us. Interesting. The problem 